Hello my dear students, I am here with the in-text question number 2.12. Uh, let us read the question first and understand it well, it is very necessary. Calculate the osmotic pressure in Pascal exerted by a solution exerted by a solution prepared by dissolving exerted by a solution prepared by dissolving 1 gram of polymer of molar mass 185000 in 450 ml of water at 370 degree centigrade my dear student this pascal is the unit of pressure so i am here with some of the very important information about the various units of pressure for you my dear students please try to understand this uh, that uh, when you say one tor it is nothing but your one millimeter of uh, mercury height that is what it is 133.32 pascal your one pascal is one newton per meter square in the in the force unit if you or you in the pressure unit if you so your one kilo pascal kilo means thousand that is the thousand pascal or you can say that that is the 10 to the power 3 pascal your one atmosphere pressure that is the 760 mm height of the mercury or it is the 76 centimeter height of the mercury your one atmosphere is nothing but 101.325 kilo pascal or you can say it as 1.01325 bar now let's look at the information given into the question itself we need to calculate the osmotic pressure in pascal so the value of gas constant r must be in pascal we are aware that the value of gas const uh, we are aware that one atmosphere one atmospheric pressure is nothing but 101 point 3 kilo pascal or we can say 101.3 into 10 to the power 3 pascal now we are already aware so this is how we can understand it once again one atmospheric pressure is 101.325 pascal that is 1.01325 into 10 to the power 5 pascal or we can say 101.3 into 10 to the power 3 pascal now we are, we are aware that the unit of R is 0 0.082 liter into atmosphere per mole per Kelvin. But we are aware that one, at, one atmospheric pressure is 101.3 into 10 to the power 3 Pascal. So here for atmosphere which is 1, we can write this value 101.3 into 10 to the power 3 Pascal which is multiplied by 0 0.083. So this atmospheric pressure unit is converted into Pascal this liter remains the same this mole remains the same this kelvin remains the same and ultimately we get 8.3 into 10 to the power 3 pascal into liter per mole per kelvin so now we have the value of r with us now we need to understand about the mass of the polymer the mass of the polymer given is 1 gram because that is polymers are less soluble or their solubility is very less in water so hardly one gram of polymer can be dissolved and it is going to be a very dilute solution from this only you can understand that molecular mass of this polymer is 1,85,000 gram per mole and that is why the moles of polymer is 1 divided by 1,85,000 it's a very small number so it's a very dilute solution that's how we can understand the temperature is 37 degree centigrade which is nothing but your 37 plus 273 Kelvin that is 310 Kelvin my dear students the mass of solution is 450 ml for calculation of the osmotic pressure my dear students the the mass of the, uh, the uh, sorry the volume of the solution must be in liter this is not mass my dear students it is uh, volume please change into your notes even it is volume so the volume of the solution is 450 ml that can be converted into 450 divided by 1000 liter that is the volume of the solution in liter I made a mistake so that is the volume of solution in liter that is 0 0.45 liter now to find or to calculate we need to find or calculate here the pi that is the osmotic pressure 
we are aware that pi is equal to CRT your C is molarity that is mole per liter so the mole N is 1 divided by 1, 1 lakh 85,000 the value of R we have calculated that is 8.3 into 10 to the power 3 the T we have written 310 and the volume in liter we have found 0 0.45 by solving all this we get 3.30.9 Pascal which is approximately 31 Pascal my dear students I hope you have been revising your theories well learning well and understanding the problems well to solve any problem I have suggested you some 5-6 steps if you follow these 5-6 steps you can solve any problem easily you just need to read the uh, question well and if you can do this data information what is given into the question well then you can easily understand what to find and if you know the formulas and the terms well you can easily solve the problems it is very much necessary that you understand the conversion of almost all the units which are necessary or almost all the units which are given into the question and answer as it was expected I hope you are enjoying my dear students I wish you a very very happy learning thank you namaskar